Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pro Wrestling History Today. Your five-minute rundown of all the professional wrestling, birthdays, deaths, and top moments for this day in pro wrestling history. I'm your host, the eclectic gentleman, Stefan Watts, reminding you to like, share, and subscribe, and comment below on what moment in history was your favorite today. Now, without further ado, put five minutes on the clock, and away we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is September 30th, and we're going to start off as we always do on a positive note. That's right. These are your pro wrestling birthdays. 1969, the youngest of the Von Erichs, Chris Von Erich. 1978, the vivacious Candice Michelle. 1979, he wasn't quite perfect, but I don't think he was ever eliminated from that one Royal Rumble. Joe Henning. 1990, AEW's own Swerve Strickland. And last but not least, 1993, to the moon, it's Cameron Grimes. Of course, on the flip side of that coin, your pro wrestling deaths for September 30th. 2012, Bobby Yeager's NWA Journeyman, also known as the Hangman. All right, enough of the sad stuff. It's time to get to the meat and potatoes. That's right. These are your pro wrestling history highlights for September 30th. 1959, the original king of Memphis, Tennessee, Jackie Fargo, beats Jesse James in Mobile, Alabama for the NWA Southern Junior Heavyweight title. 1960, two of Japan's most important wrestling icons make their in-ring debuts at the same show as Giant Baba and Antonio Inoki founders of All Japan and New Japan respectfully, debuting for the Japanese Wrestling Association. Baba beats Yunotaro Tanaka, while Inoki loses to Kintaro Oki. And yes, I probably butchered those Japanese names. Don't kill me in the comments. I'd like to see you do better. A 12-year jump this time to 1972, the Worldwide Wrestling Federation Ran Shea Stadium in New York City, drawing over 22,000 fans, with a main event of Pedro Morales and Bruno San Martino going to a 75 minute draw. Fast forwarding five years to 1977, Ox Baker beats Captain USA, the future Big John Stud, for the NWA American Heavyweight title in Houston, Texas. 1980. New Japan ran their last show at the Budokan Hall in Tokyo, Japan for a decade as rival All Japan signed an exclusive deal with the venue owner. Nine years later in 1989, a WWF event sees two Madison Square Garden returns. First, Jimmy Superfly Snuka making his first garden appearance since Mania 1, defeating Honky Tonk Man. And two, Roddy Piper fighting to a double countout with Rick Rude. This was Piper's first match in over two years. That next year in 1990, All Japan hold a 30-year anniversary celebrating Giant Baba's debut. The main event sees Andre the Giant and Stan Hansen defeat Baba and Abdul the Butcher. 1991, my mom's favorite wrestler of all time, Tito Santana, returns to the WWF under the El Matador gimmick. Can I get an ole? And last but not least, 2002, Kane beats Chris Jericho for the IC title, making him a double champ, having been tag champs with the Hurricane. Those were your short but sweet pro wrestling history highlights for September 30th. I'm the eclectic gentleman, Stefan Watts, and we'll see you tomorrow.